Hey guys, what's up? Um, well, this is a bit of a weird one, but before I just go into this topic right now, and uh, I, I guess what I'm about to say, we'll, go, we'll roll into it. So here we go. The world is not as bad as we think it is. And the reason why I'm going to that is because I had a bit of a... I've had, I've had some kind of uh, thought, thoughts in my head in terms of like looking at the world and what's been happening right now and, you know, in terms of news and everything. So I thought I'd look into it a bit more um, and share my thoughts on it. And we're brought up in a world where we take bad news more than good. And I'm like, the, way that, the way that I can explain this is that we view the world quite badly. I mean, not in, not in like world in sadistic in a sense, but like we are brought up in a world of news where we have to where we look at the way things could be worse instead of what they are. You know, in the sense of like ba bad things that happen, the the bad news is quick and loud. You know, in the sense of like it shows up, it's there, and you know, and it's so sudden that it happens almost every day. And it and it, it gets our attention. Yeah, you know? it draws us into it a bit more. More, it makes us wonder about everything else. It looks at like, yeah, you know, it makes us think bad things. Things that happen so much. You know, things like all the wars that have happened, all the famine, every, you know, political disaster. You know how that happens every day on such a loud scale that we end up thinking that the world, you know, is going to be horrible, or at least that we have a bad outlook on life right now. Well, good news is not seen as much because it's gradual and quiet. In the sense of like, you don't really notice the good news that often because no one highlights it. You know, news doesn't do it. Why would they? It's not, me it's not meant to. They, they're supposed to highlight what's current, what's interesting, and what's interesting is the bad. Good news doesn't do that in the sense of like, we don't tend to notice what happens to us in the world because it, we don't look at it as well yeah because while i said like you know bad news happens every day good news can happen over years and we just won't notice so the reason why i wanted to say this is that um i i, I remember recently watching a documentary or at least a le no it wasn't a documentary it was a lecture years ago by the name of a guy i think named hans Rowling. i think that's his name i might have to double check that to be sure but it was a sense of like he was looking at the case of overpopulation yeah, because you know, that's always a big fear that we're looking at it like, oh, the world's going to get overpopulated, food's going to go down, you know, it's going to be a catastrophe and everything else is going to be far worse and that we're going to be looking for other ways of trying to control our world. And the way he, he summed it up, the way he looked at it was the sense of how population will keep going, you know, it will keep growing, but then it will cap, you know, it will cap a certain number, which I think it was like 10 billion or something. But that's it. It won't like go miles o overboard. It won't like be something worse. Because when you look at it like that, in, in that sort of sense, like how in the last hundred years the population has just you know been very very gradual, 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 and suddenly it's shot up over the few decades, and people start to think that's a bad thing, a lot, you know, because suddenly in the resource we had that was we noticed before suddenly dying out you know anything that we in terms of space ended up being worsened but we don't really look in the sense of like why population has grown so much and it's because things are better you know in that sort of sense where medication is better than we've ever had i mean like the worldwide average you know living age or not uh, living age, uh, age to die is about 70 or i think or something like that you know, people people have never been more, have never had more food in their lives. People have had electricity in their lives. People have never had the comfort and you know the such achievements that we've had that we could, you know, keep up in terms of population. Because it used to be like the you know, you know years ago, you know, a really long time ago, you you were to you survive fifty, that would be amazing. But now these days, that's just middle age. Now that's a, that's something else. So the reason why I wanted to bring this up was because it's something that draws into your mind quite a bit, especially when you hear all the bad news right now. That the world, you know, we look at it very badly sometimes. Or at least we don't appreciate it, you know. Because that's what happen happens sometimes. You don't appreciate what you have until you actually lose it or until, it go or until you actually look at it again. 
And it's hard to sometimes keep like an optimistic mind. In that sort of sense. Because I am an optimist a lot. Which can be seen as naive. Which, you know, you have to be careful in that sort of instance. But, I don't know. It's kind of one of those ideas where it's nice to just rem remind yourself once in a while. That even though you hear constant bad news all the time. you got to remember that the world is so much better than it ever was before. I mean, like, with, we're living in a world where, like, most of the world has electricity and the internet, you know, where, where food and refrigeration is, has never been like that before, ever. Where, you know, where we can have achieved new heights in technology. <laughs> you know, the fact that I'm doing this randomly, like the 10 average people I meet. Or things like Elon Musk, who have just decided to launch a car into space last year. Or this year, I can't remember when it was. God, that's how weird how that happens. But like, you know, I mean, one idea that I sometimes think of it was that everybody, you know, at least my age, my age people, everybody remembers when things were so much, not tougher, but like things were so much more different. I mean, because I remember like when technology, for instance, was much more expensive. You know, like a home computer or a flat screen TV would cost like 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. <laughs> You know, like, like when you got one, it was a thing. Like, that was the s main feature of the house. But now these days, like, a desktop costs, like, 300 pounds. Like, a flat screen, even less than that. <laughs> or, you know, it's a good one. Yeah, you know, how, like, are the problems that we had before? Suddenly, you know, every day, we have... Things do get better sometimes. You know? Um, and we don't look at it that way, mainly because we swap problems around. You know, we we exchange one problem that we didn't know we fixed it with a new one. You know, like while technology may be going down in prices some, in some areas that we just think, oh, it's bad. We look at other problems like the housing market, which I'm a, you know, big pro problematic with in the sense of, you know, no one my age can afford a house. And for some reason, that, and then we think the world sucks for it because... Yeah, I can't, you know, I, I can't live any, any, anywhere on my own. You know, the job market's not going to do so well. Yeah. And then suddenly it just leads to all these other problems that makes us think that, like, the only way to solve it is to do something drastic or stupid or to, like, think that we're going to be, the, like, some kind of Mad Max world in, like, 40 years or something like that. But, I mean, it's one of those things where I'm not saying it has to take up a huge amount of your time. But it's nice to remember, to appreciate the fact that we are in such an amazing time on Earth, you know. Where, like, so many pe people, you know, care more about, you know, the environment now than ever. People more, care more about their health than ever. People care more about technology than ever before. That's a, that's a feat, you know. That's a thing that you have to remind yourself sometimes whenever the, the news gives you bleakness. You know, even, like, you know, certain news right now with, like, North Korea, you know, like, Deciding to, to denuclearize, nuclearize, whatever. You know, that's amazing. You know, I mean, I may not trust it that much, but it is something. It's there. So, whenever you feel like you're, you're watching the news and you, know, you hear all this bad stuff, and you start to think to yourself, man, the, the world is not nice. It's, it's harsh. It's cruel. There's so much badness out there. Just remember like these words. The world is not as bad as you think. You know, the world has so much more good than we like to see, you know, because it's because it's all there. It's all there to look up. You know, the world is not as bad as you think. That's as, that's all I wanted to say right now. That's just what I have in my mind right now. I just want to get out, out of the way. And, you know, I hope that like does something to you and just like gives you some thoughts into looking at that. So if you like what I said, you know. If you want to hear more, you want to hear me shut up and do that, um, you know, comment down below and subscribe. You know, thank you to all new subscribers, by the way. Love you. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll, I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye.